Now we're going to create content or edit the content that's already uh, displayed on ck12.org. The next and after we've done that, I will show you how to insert your own content and edit it and make it a part of the CK12 platform. First of all, we're going to sign in. I will sign in. If you have not joined, you would need to join. But I will sign in to my account. Once signed in, of course, I'm at the dashboard. So I want to create a lesson using the CK12 resources that's already here. So I'm going to click search. And I'm going to just look at subjects. You could just write what you want to search for, but let's look at, I will look at subjects and let's say algebra, some concept in algebra that I would like to browse. Now, once you get to all the resources relating to algebra, you can have it displayed in three different manners. It's currently in list form. You can change it to grid form. In grid form, it has the titles and the number of concepts underneath each topic. And the map form, it's more like a display, a chart, diagram here as a map. My preference is the list form. So using the list form, let's say I wanted to uh, create a lesson about linear equations. Now, if you look here, there are six modalities. You have uh, read, you have four videos, and one assessment. Now, this was created through the CK12 content. Now, anybody can upload content. So if you wanted to see what someone else has uploaded related to linear equations, you could click Community Contributed. So you hear this is what the community has uh, sent in one modality, uh, which is real world application. Now let's look back at CK12 content. I would, I would prefer starting with that because it has been uh, verified as being correct. So we're going to go to the read section because that's where we can edit our resource is under read. So as read is displaying or opening, to display read you must click here to the read and here is the content that's already here that CK12 has gotten. There's a video within it guidance, so forth. Lots and lots of content that you can review on your own. So let's say we want to use this content here and add it to the Flexbook. So we're going to go to Add to Flexbook. And many of you probably don't have any created. These are all the Flexbooks that I have created. So for the linear equations, I'm going to create a new Flexbook and title it Linear Equations 1. I hit OK. Okay, now that I've added that to my Flexbook library, now since I've created that area where I'm going to add it, I'm going to go Add to Flexbook. See, I have linear equations 1, I select, I hit OK. That has been added. Now you go back here, it's already added in your resources, in your Flexbook. Okay, so we know where to get our content from at the top, which is my content. So let's go to it and do our editing. So we have linear equations one here. See, I have a number of books, so you will probably have only one here. So linear equations one, this is the lesson. You can click on it. And as it opens, you notice to the side, 
you can see how you can edit it. Okay, so you can edit it. You can say you and even share it with your group. But we're just going to focus right now on editing it. So before we start editing it, let's see what we have here, what resources we have. This is the read section, and it goes down very far. So, and the exercises, and there is a quiz attached where you can practice. That's 20 questions, unlimited time resources you can add your own resources if you want to insert a resource you can and details about it these are the authors and, and so on and so forth okay so now we're going to go back to the read and since you see here it's created by ck12 but once we edit it your name will probably come up that you've made the changes so let's look at solving equation, algebraic equations for a variable. And you may want to merely change the text. Okay, you may just want to change the um, the font or the color. So let's change the color to say this color here. So it's been added. It okay. And let's, you can go on down, you can add to it. There's problems in practice. It's just one example. You can delete something, you can add something to. You just have to take some time to go through and see what you like. So you hit save changes, save your changes. So we see here the changes have been saved and you see how the color is different. And you see at the top, it says that it is created by, and my name is here, Renee Scott. So if you would like to, uh, like it, it had a, um, a ribbon at the top where you could bold things, where you can make all sorts of changes. I'm going to go back to edit again so I can just show you that also. Here we are, and if you want to bold, italics, underline, uh, if you, you have to have your cursor inside here, if you want to insert an editor image, or if you want to insert a movie, that's it's grayed out right now. But as you move it down, and you click, like here, you can see it's not grayed out here, you can insert a movie. You should have to move it down. And let's say here you want to insert a movie. The movies you insert needs to be where you have an embed code, like YouTube uh, have embed codes. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now we're back at the point where we started. You finished editing it. You've changed the color. You've made all sorts of changes you would like. So if you wanted to publish it, you would submit a publish request, and they will email it back to you where it goes straight to the link. Uh, where anybody would have access to it. Or you can download it as a PDF, a Mobi, or an EPUB. And also you can uh, tweet it, Facebook, email, or you can share it with a group. If you've developed a group, you can share it with your class. Now we're going to insert our own content. So we're back at our dashboard. We're going to go to content here, my content. And uh, we're going to go to create a new modality. So let's say we may want to create something having to do with cyberbullying. Okay, so I have gotten a document from um, online that I'm going to insert into this. Um, this page into the Flexbooks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to simply copy and paste. So I'm going to go to Documents. So I have a folder with it in it. It's a CK12 folder. And Cyberbullying right here. And there it is. So I'm going to open that up. Since now it's open, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the entire document into my Flexbook. 
course, right click, copy, and we have the Flexbook document here. So you have to go Control V on the keyboard, it's what allows it to paste, and there it is. So since that was a Word document, you could easily edit the document and put what you'd like if you wanted to even get rid of the, the, the table, say. And you can right click and delete table properties or delete table. So if we delete table, there's just another format if you like it better that way. Okay. So you can also change the fonts and change whatever you like. If you just wanted to just type it from scratch, you could have done that. Change the text color, make it blue. So we want to make it a little bigger uh, for the highlighting, the text, and we can also change the size with the sections here. This will make things larger or smaller. Paragraph text. So this was copied uh, in. It's harder to get that a little bit larger, but once you um, submit it or save changes, it should come out to be a larger document. So let's say I'm going to pause the recording for a moment and find a picture that might be appropriate uh, with Cyberbullet. Now I just simply went to uh, Microsoft Word and copied and pasted the, of um, a um, clip art. So I'm going to save this clip art as Save As Picture. And I'm going to save it into my uh, CK12 folder which is in my documents here and here's that folder and I'm going to name it bully and I'm going to make it a JPEG I'll name it totally accepts that and I'm going to save it at this point I'm going back to my document I did say I wanted to put a picture in this is the word document this isn't the CK12 here's the CK12 and I said I want to insert a picture insert here. Move this out of the way. So we're going to choose the file. So I put it right here. Open. And there it is. So we're going to hit insert. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's the picture. It's inserted right here at the top. So before I save changes, at the bottom of my document, I'm going to create a little quiz. So you know, this is very quick and easy. So you can uh, review what you want to add, your own content, and make it interactive. So at this point, I'm going to create a quiz using Google Forms. First of all, I must log into my Google account. And you see here, I'm already logged in. Go to my Google Drive. And from the Create button, Create Form. So it's the untitled, so let's call it Bully, Bullying Questions. And you can choose whatever design. Let's try this design. It's a little pinkish. OK. Now that's our title, form description. You can just say short quiz. Or you could have left that blank. That would have been fine. So the first question, I like to start the first question with name. That way you know who's answering it. So name, and of course, that is a text question. So you would select text and done with that. So we may want to add a, a item. So we're going to add a, say, a text question open-ended you may want to say have you been bullied and uh, and and see it if it's misspelled you can correct it okay and you can leave it as a text with their answer or since it's a yes no uh, we can do a checkbox. So let's leave it uh, it's like a text where they can just uh, open, answer it open-endedly. Done. And you may have, you want to add another question, and it may be what happened. 
So, it can be text or multiple choice. So, to save time, I'm going to make them all text. Done. So, I want to show the link to submit another response. I'm going to our confirmation page. I'm going to publish and show link. Allow respondents to edit responses after submission. I'm not going to do that. So, let me go ahead and uh, send my form. I will embed it. So, I'm going to highlight it. And so this is the copy, hit Combed. So we're going to go back to the CK12 link. And at the top here, it's um, Insert Media. And this is where the go call goes, Control-V on the keyboard. Preview and, uh, oops, it didn't work. OK, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to click on the link. And I'm going to copy it, edit, copy. They, I'm going to go back to CK12 video here. And I'm going to go Control C. Yeah, Control C. Now that our uh, changes have been saved, you see the lesson, cyberbullying, and you see it's under read. It's already selected. So you can go and you can read, and now uh, you can see everything that's been copied and pasted. Under the edit, you could have left some of this out. If you read it, you can just tailor it to exactly what you want. And here are the questions. Let's go ahead and just fill that form out. Name, I want to say Sally. Smith. And have you been bullied? Let's say yes. What happened? Okay, he hurt my feelings. And whatever the student um, says, hit submit. So once you hit submit, you go back to your Google Drive. You see how these links up. So I will go and find the responses to the uh, document that I had just uh, created. Now lastly, I'm going to, I've already shared it. Now I've already logged in to um, a dummy student account that I created. I just want to see what that looks like in sharing. I go to the content right here, my content. Or go to groups, I'm sorry. I would go to groups, not my content, because he's not going to create anything. He's just going to go and see what's happening in the group section. So go to groups instead. And then this is just a little bit. We're not going to create a group. We're just going to just go invited to join a group. And he's already joined the group. So he's already a part of the group. Now I have... Um, logged into my dummy account just to see what it looks like when I've shared a group with someone. So the dummy account's name is Luther Scott. I will click under the groups tab. From the groups tab, it tells you the group that I'm a member of. It's the MMA1 group, and that's the teacher's name. There are four total members. So if I click on that group, It tells you when I shared something, what I shared, and who I've shared it with. So now I will click on Shared Resources. And you probably could have just went from cyber uh, uh, bullying. So you have the type. You can change it to the members or shared by me, shared by others. So he doesn't have anything shared by him. So if I uncheck Shared by me, and unchecked, uh, then it should not any be, anything be shared by him. I'm going to share it to him. So we'll say members, shared by others here. And share it's no results because he hasn't shared anything. But shared by others, here's everything that I've shared. So if I click on the cyber bullying lesson, it shows this is the lesson here.
and he can scroll down the picture that I placed there, the activity, discussion points, there's some links that can be accessed. Uh, so this is the quiz again. I'll just put Luther Scott. I think I've already shown you how quick and easy this is. To one last time, and I'll just say no here as a response, and just put nothing. And submit. So once that is submitted, you could easily have gone to your Google account or the teacher's Google account, and it's found under Google Drive. These are the bullying questions, bullying others. That was the one we had talked about. So I had several. So from here, I click on bullying question response. And there has been added Luther Scott, no, and nothing. If you have any questions, you can email me. And I uh, hope you understood the tutorial.